Hey guys, this is Kevin. Uh, today we're going to work on a HP OfficeJet 6978, and uh, we're going to work on a fake paper jam. Uh, I already have some other fake, uh, fake paper jam uh, videos, how to troubleshoot HP fake paper jam. I'm going to put a link above. If uh, this video doesn't help you solve it, just click the link, link above and uh, see other videos. Okay, this one, after you start, you're going to uh, is going to show this paper jam uh, uh, screen. Uh, when you have a problem, it's very important to read what the error ma message is. So this doesn't tell you much. Just a paper jam, remove any jam paper. If you guys click OK, then you're going to get this a second error. Let's pause a second. This one gives you a little bit more information. And that's an origin document loaded. The original is jam in the document feeder. Let's check. I don't see anything at all. It's all clean. This is just second part of the error scanner failure. It tells you there's something wrong with the scanner. And then we're here for a treat. We got three errors in one. There's another error set the printer failure. Zero X six one zero 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 four A. Okay, let's summarize what we see here. Um, I think this error starts at all. This is usually caused by a loose FFC cable from the scanner. So I think uh, you have cable loose. And this is usually caused by the cable, the power cable or the FFC cable to the scanner. Because of these errors, the printer wasn't properly shut down, which caused the printer's waste basket is in a weird position when, when, when you power it up. So a uh, get attached to the printhead, the printhead cannot move. And that's why it gets you this uh, generic paper jam error. Okay, that's uh, probably too boring. Okay, let's fix it. Uh, I have a video about uh, the last scenario that uh, you in proper shutdown make the waste basket, waste basket attached to print that. I'll put a link above and uh, you can check it out how to fix it. But uh, for this one, we're going to fix the scanner first. Okay, let's right to the point. And uh, we need to remove this uh, hinge to open up the scanner. There's no good way to remove it, just put force to bend it forward. It's helpful if you have a screwdriver help your hand to just, just bend it forward, and that's that gonna make it detached. After it's detached, uh, have something in the back to hold uh, the scanner straight up. Then you can remove uh, 10 screws. To remove the top cover, there are two tabs uh, behind the LCD panel. You need to push them in. Now we can remove the LED panel by disconnecting the, uh, the white cables, and then the top cover can be removed. Oh, by the way, when you connect to FFC, take a look, see where the connection point is, and then uh, when you plug in, make sure the the shiny part or the the iron part is is connected to those uh, connected connection points. I can see those two cables wasn't installed correctly, and uh, this this is a power cable. Uh, when you insert it, it has to click. So when HP installed it, it, it didn't click. So every time you open the scanner, I pull the cable out a little bit. So after you use it for a while, that cable just loose. So I'll put it back. Before we put everything back and uh, double check all the cables are secured, and uh, also check the paper tree. When you have the paper tree inserted, you're going to see that a little lever is going to fall down. Okay, let's see that again. Okay. And also check this lever. When you raise it up and release it, and uh, it should spring back to fall down. Okay, those all look good. And uh, this one look good too. 
although we're pretty sure what happened, it was a good practice to service the printer. Just get some alcohol and uh, dab with a paper towel and uh, clean all the rollers. And now we'll put everything back. Again, make sure you install the cable on the correct side. Put the 10 screws back and uh, then we reattach the, uh, the hinge for the scanner. It should be able to close gradually like this. And uh, no more errors. So sometimes you get a whole bunch of error and uh, it's pretty hard to figure out which error comes first. Uh, in this case, the error comes from the scanner and uh, then I interrupt at the normal start startup of the HP. So the scanner error comes first. However, uh, because it is in proper shutdown, you're kind of uh, looping the air into the second loop and uh, in the when you restart the regular paper jam comes first uh, so it's not always what you see first is the first air and you can see because this printer has uh, improper shutdown for a while and uh, uh, the print has already dry so uh, next video i'm going to show you how to unclog this Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. Visit us at www.bchtechnologies.com or locally at Greensboro, North Carolina. Cheers.